All right, hey guys, so I think I look a little rough, but um, I just wanted to make this video. Um, so as you can see from the title, this is a story time. It's a story time that happened a long time ago. It's nothing that happened lately or anything, but I just wanted to tell my story because I know this happens to a lot of females out there and they might not know how to come forward and talk to someone about it, but it is important that they do um, because it's not healthy. It only happened to me once, but um, yeah, it still happened. And also, sorry if you guys hear any background noise because as usual, they're playing basketball right outside my window. So anyway, yes, this is a story time of when my boyfriend hit me, put his hands on me, whatever, and busted my lip, or bust my lip, is it busted or bust, bust my lip, I don't know, anyways, um, but yeah, and um, also I do want to say, like, literally no one knows about this, um, like, I've never told anyone, literally the only person that knows is my fiance now, and now you guys, so, but yeah, um, I guess we could start, like it's not a really long story, but I guess we could start off with how or why it happened. So basically, um, it was like when I was in high school, my uh, boyfriend then, uh, it was like summertime, so you know, we were out of school. He um, came over to hang out with me and um, like over my house or whatever, and we were chilling, hanging out blah 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 and then all of a sudden he was just like um well actually we weren't even hanging out yet like we had not too long ago like got in there or whatever he just got in there but um anyways but um he was just like so someone told me that they seen a guy sitting in your passenger like seat or whatever because you know like people know like what my car looked like or whatever so they were like telling him that they seen me driving and they seen a guy in my passenger seat and I'm just like uh no and he's like yeah they did they said that and blah 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 who was it and I'm just like I don't know what you're talking about because nobody else has been in my car and you know yada 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 and then um like basically we're just arguing about that because he was just like i don't believe you and i'm just like well i don't know why and basically that's when it happened we were arguing and i called him some names and he didn't appreciate it like he didn't like me calling him them name those names but that's kind of like how i felt so he punched me in the face basically I guess it's like face lip I don't know what I would say it was like if it's facial lip but anyways but he punched me and he bust my lip and then um obviously I was shocked like wow that just really happened um oh I like thinking of like talking about it is like bringing back memories anyways but um yeah I was just like wow did that really just happen and then, um, so, like, because we were in my room at that time, so I ran into my living room, um, crying, obviously, and he follows me in there, and we're still arguing, and I, like, threw the remote at him, because, like, even though, like, that happened to me, like, I wasn't, like, scared, like, I was scared, but I wasn't, like, scared, like, I was still, like, mad at the situation, but now I was, like, more mad. But yes, I like threw the remote at him. I'm still fussing, cussing. And then he like basically pushes me on the couch and he like gets on top of me and like starts hitting me again. And um, but I like ended up pushing him off of me and then I ran to the bathroom and I locked the door. And then I was like stayed in there for a while. And he's like obviously like trying to open up the door and he's like, come out, come out blah 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 and at that point I feel like he not realized but he was like 
not sorry, but I don't know what to say. Like he, he was just like, sorry, um, I need me to do that, blah, 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 come out, let me see it, let me, like, let me see, you know, like I said, my busted lip. He was like, let me see it, let me, blah, 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 blah. And obviously I wasn't listening, I just was like mad, I was like in there crying, I was like putting, you know, stuff on my lip, um, and all that. That was the only thing that happened to me, like, was the lip thing, like nothing else, bruises or nothing, it was just my lip was busted. And then, um, and then eventually I had, came out the bathroom, and then he didn't even have a car so i ended up having to take him home which was annoying because like i didn't feel like even being with him like even in like the same area or whatever so i and, like so it was aggravating having to take him home like being in that car ride you know what i mean so yeah i took him home and yeah basically obviously stopped talking to him and obviously he was still texting my phone blah 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 and it was just yeah but it just taught me a lot like I don't even know but I'm just happy now I have a good man and I never have to worry about that anyways even if I made him really really mad like I know he wouldn't put his hands on me so I'm very thankful for that and it's crazy because, like, I remember when I first told him about this, like, I don't know why we were even talking about it, but I feel like, you know, like, I feel like someone you're going to be with forever should know, like, everything about you. So I felt like that was something that he should know. But, yeah, when I told him about that, like, he was just, like, so shocked and sad and mad and, like, he had, like, literally all these, like, different type of feelings and emotions like he could have cried basically like he just was like hurt and he was just like he was sad that it happened to me and he was just sad that he wasn't there at the time to defend me which was really sweet but yeah I'm like you know but um yeah that was basically my little short story time about that um, but making this video is just basically like getting it out there, sharing my experiences, experiences with you guys. And, um, like I said, if you are having, like I said, it happened only that one time, like I never put myself in that situation again, but like I do know there are domestic violence relationships out there, like where the girl is scared to leave or is told not to leave or like whatever the case is um and it's happening to them multiple times like that's not a healthy relationship at all they do not love you i don't know why they can like lay their hands on a female and then sit there and tell them that they love them and all this stuff so they do not love you get out of that relationship go to the police go to whoever you need to go to if they're like holding you captive and you can't get out or whatever like if you think you're not gonna find anyone else or anyone better like don't think that there's the perfect person out there for everyone in the world so um yeah like i guess i just want to share my little story with you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed it um i hope you guys took it seriously because it wasn't like a joking matter um it's nothing like i don't want to be judged either or looked at any type of different way either but um yeah that's about it um, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i love you guys